What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm down at Randy Marion Chevrolet. We're gonna take a look at this 2022 Blazer 2LT. So huge shout out to them for providing this SUV for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. All that info is down in the description. The Blazer that you see behind me is finished off in blue glow and it has an MSRP just over $36,000. As we start off today's review, we're gonna take a look at what powers this Blazer. There's two different engine options. This model here has the two liter turbocharged four cylinder paired with the nine speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 228 horsepower around 5,500 RPM and 258 pound feet of torque as low as 1,500 RPM. This is front wheel drive. It weighs in right around 3,900 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in just over six seconds and it has a fuel capacity of 19.4 gallons. You can expect to see around 22 miles per gallon in the city and 29 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 112.7 inches. Its overall length is 191.4. It has a width of 76.7, a height of 67 inches, and its ground clearance measures in at 7.4 inches. As we work our way to the exterior now for this all new Blazer, I wanna start off with the headlights, DRLs, and turn signals because we have a really unique design here. The headlight is actually mounted down below along with the turn signal, and then where the headlight should be is the running DRLs. I think it's a really cool design, especially with how thin the DRL is, matches nicely just up underneath the hood, and you can see some more gloss black surrounding it just to tie them in even nicer. And that runs all the way to the center of the grill where you can see the Chevy bow tie finished off in chrome just to break up some of the black all around. You'll see there's plenty of cutouts too in this grill to provide cooling to that turbocharged engine along with the cutout down below. You can see there's a nice brush trim piece in the lower section of the bumper. And then really nice lines coming down the hood. Just gives it a really nice looking front end design. And then as we work our way to the side, this model has the 20 inch wheels finished off in gloss black with a multi-spoke design. It's definitely a great contrast against this blue. You'll see the trim from the front bumper extends all the way around the fender flares and on the lower section of the door. And then you can see Blazer is also finished off in black. We have the body colored mirrors and then the A pillar is finished off in black along with all the trim surrounding the windows just to tie it in nicely with all of the blue again. This has a really nice side profile. You can see the lines that extend just underneath the mirrors. We have one over the back tire there. Very subtle lines, but give it a great look. And then last up in the rear, you can see the body colored spoiler. The third brake light is mounted up there too. And we even have some more black on the sides just to blend in nicely with the front end design. This does have LED taillights. They have a great design to them. We have the backup camera too. And you can see in the lower section of the bumper, we have the same trim piece as up front with the dual exhaust on both sides. And then when properly equipped, this can tow up to around 1500 pounds. So you could have some lighter weight trailers behind this if you need to. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear cargo area now. We have that release down below. You can see with the back seats currently up, we have a really nice flat storage area here. You can place in a lot of items. Over on the driver's side, you can see this bin. We have the same thing over on the passenger side. So you have smaller items that won't roll around. And then up underneath the floor, if I open this up, you'll see we have the spare along with a lot more hidden storage. You can place a lot of items under here if you need to get them out of the way. And then in order to fold the back seats down, you can do it from the second row or you can use these levers on both sides. And with them folded down, you can see there's a lot more storage, making this a very practical SUV to have. And then up top on this lift gate, there is one grab handle. It is fairly light, so it's very easy to close. And that's a look at the exterior for the all new Blazer. Let's go ahead and work our way to the back seats now. Where you can actually lock and unlock the back seats using that silver button definitely makes it very convenient. And now looking at this door panel, you can see we have leather along with stitching running along the armrest, a little bit of storage space down in the lower section along with one speaker. And then there's a nice brush trim to the release handle there. And at five foot 10, it's time to work my way into the back seats where I have the front seat currently set at my height. You can also see there's a storage pocket. I have plenty of room for my feet and my legs and a lot of room above my head. I currently have the seats all the way reclined back. So that makes it a lot more comfortable. You can see this one here is all the way up. So you have some versatility in the back seats. Right in the middle, we have the armrest along with two cup holders if you need to use them. And then right in the middle, you can see both a USB and a USB-C and a little bit of storage space down below where you could place your phone or other smaller items along with the air vents and some more trim right in the middle. 
And just to get a visibility perspective from the back seats, you can see out of that window there, which is great, of course. And then you can also fold these back seats down. You can use this lever here. If I pull on that, you'll see that go all the way flat. And then doing that with both of the backrests, you can get another perspective at the amount of room you have for extra storage, which is great to see. And then as we move on to the front seats now, you'll see the door panels finished off just like in the rear. We have the addition of a little bit of storage space right in the middle, along with all the window controls, the side mirror adjustments. There's a really nice trim piece surrounding the release handle along with lock and unlock. And we have the grab handle finished off in leather. You'll see the seats are leather, of course. We have the piping running around them. Definitely gives it a great design with the perforated leather right in the middle. And these are also automatic seats, so we have all those adjustments down on the side. And now working our way in, you'll see the door sill is pretty low and we step over it just a little bit. It's very easy to enter and exit. And then looking at the steering wheel, you'll see it's covered in leather. We have some more trim pieces on both sides just to give it a great look. But now with my foot on the brake, we have the engine start stop button and we can bring this to life. And looking at this gauge cluster, you'll see over on the left side is the tack. On the right side is the miles per hour. Front and center, you'll see the fuel gauge along with the engine temperature. And you have some more information just below that you can go through. Using these buttons over on the right side of the steering wheel, you'll also notice too there's Bluetooth and voice commands. And then we have volume adjustments on the back side, which is great to see. But currently you can see the miles per hour. I can scroll down, you can look at some trip information along with your fuel information, you have your oil life, you can also pull up TPMS, and you have some other vitals that you can go into, which is of course great to see. If I scroll over now to options, you can go through this and basically configure it the way that you'd like to, just setting up everything so you can read it easily. And then over on this left side, you can see we have the cruise control settings along with a safety button there. Over on the left side, you can see the electronic parking brake along with all the headlight adjustments. There's a dimmer switch for the gauges. We have really nice trim surrounding the air vent. And then right in the center, you can see the eight inch screen. There's a lot more info you can go through. We have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. You can go into your climates. If I swipe over, this is basically the home screen where you have that split style between your music and your phone. And then all of these icons, of course. There's also shortcuts down below, making it very easy to get into all this information. And then we have the home button. There's also a physical home button along with power and volume for the radio. We have a back button and then tuning around it. Very simply laid out, very easy to go through. You'll see over on this left side too is the engine start stop feature along with the hazards. Traction control is over on the right side along with the glove box. So you can use that to of course open this up where you'll see there's a lot of storage. You'll see too a really nice trim piece over on that passenger side. And then coming back to the center, you'll see that we have the readouts there for the temperature for driver and passenger. All you need to do is turn the dial surrounding the air vent. You can adjust the temperature for driver and passenger. You have where you'd like the air to go. You can sync these. We have the fan speed too. Defrosters are just underneath that. So it's nicely laid out, very easy to go through. You can turn them on and off just by twisting the center dial. And then between those, you can see a USB and a USB-C. Plenty of storage to place your items that you'd like to charge to just underneath that. And you'll see there's even leather on both sides just to give it a great touch. Right in the middle, there are two cup holders, a really nice trim piece here. And then moving on to the leather wrap shifter, the release is up front. You can go all the way into reverse there, where of course we have the backup camera with the guidelines just to make it very helpful. You can also go into drive, and then you can change the gears if you'd like to with the plus and minus, which is of course great. And then behind that, we have the lane keeping assist along with the different driving modes. So we have normal, snow, and sport, just depending on how you need to drive this. There's also a little bit of storage just in front of the center armrest. And if I open this up, you can see there's a lot more space along with a 12 volt. So combined with the glove box, you definitely have a lot of room. We'll take one last look at these seats here. And then up top, we do have a sunglass holder conveniently located in the backside along with the dome lights and all the OnStar controls too. All right, so getting this 2022 Blazer 2LT out on the road, this has been a really cool SUV to check out. I love this exterior paired with all the gloss black. Definitely gives it a really cool look. This interior is also really nice as you've already seen going through all these features. Everything is laid out very well and I like the use of space and also the integrated controls just like the temperature surrounding the fan there. I think it's a really good layout, very simple and easy to use at the same time. We also have some tuning controls on the back side of the steering wheel. I mentioned the volume ones earlier, so it's great to have those hands controls. 
but now that I've put a few miles on this, it's been driving very smoothly. I like how it's absorbing all these bumps. It's been very quiet, very comfortable to drive. If you're looking for a daily driver, this is definitely perfect. We have a lot of space in that back for people, for storage. You can put a small trailer on this if you need to tow some smaller things, if you're moving or some situation like that. Uh, but it's a nice interior. We also have these leather seats, which are super comfortable. And now, you're gonna be driving this every single day. You'll be in some tight parking situations like this. Now this is a very narrow road, but we'll see how well it does. I'm going to have to turn around more than once, but I love the graphics on that backup camera do a phenomenal job along with those guidelines, which do turn with the steering wheel. And just like that, we have a very maneuverable vehicle, but now giving it some gas, that two liter gets up and moves. Plenty of power for the smaller engine. Let's go ahead and pop it into a sport mode because we don't need snow mode. So we'll put it into sport mode there and give it another acceleration. Wow. Not doing anything crazy. And we are up to speed. It's pretty peppy. It doesn't weigh that much either. So you definitely have plenty of power. Now this is the front wheel drive version. You can opt for all wheel drive if you'd like to. So you have a few different engine options and uh, drivetrain options there that you can get, which is great, just depending on where you're going to be driving this. And so now switching over to the POV angle for the 2022 Blazer, you can get a feel for what it's like to be behind the wheel. Really nice infotainment system right in the middle. All the controls, as you've already seen, this is a really comfortable vehicle. It's very quiet too. And visibility from the driver's seat is really easy to see all around. I like the addition of this small window here just in front of the side mirrors. So you can see over that passenger side there. And then we'll get a quick view over the right shoulder here where you can see that pillar is pretty bulky in the back, but you do have that small window as I mentioned. You have your side mirrors. You can easily see around it. So there's no issues there. And then over the left shoulder, you can see out of that back glass. And then we'll go ahead and give it one last acceleration for today's video. We are still in sport mode and we can get up and move. Very impressive to see that. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive, getting behind the wheel of the 2022 Blazer 2LT. Once again, huge shout out to Randy, Mary, and Chevrolet for providing this SUV for me today. Check out their website. All that info is down below. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I'll see you guys in the next video.